Well, here I am in my garage, still a big mess, but today out here in my garage, it's hot and I have something new and it's a built hard is what it's called, 20 inch oscillating pedestal fan. I bought this on my own, it wasn't given to me, but uh, my old fan, which is this one, needed a little bit of help. It freezes up on me every once in a while. I got to take it apart, clean it up, spray some lube in there and I've had it 20 years plus probably and it's been fine it's just a cheap pedestal fan and uh, it's worked fine but it's starting to give out on me kind of like all of us do when we get old and so I thought I better get a new one and I bought this one I'm gonna try it out I just wanted to show it to you that's what I do on this channel so anyway here we go I'm not gonna do a whole unboxing on this because who wants to watch someone take something out of a box I guess some people do we'll say I don't know anything about this fan I just bought it on Amazon Looked fine, had good reviews. One thing I do like right off the bat, it has a metal base. My old one's plastic, it's held up fine, but I like having a metal base, especially out here in the garage. Hopefully it'll hold up better. The old base is cracked, but still works. Metal pole, I think, yeah. Of course, plastic handle, but you know, it is what it is. Now I will say one of the reasons I picked this one, and there's others there, I just, this one was one of the first ones I came to. I don't want to scroll through all of them to look, but it has metal blades with it, aluminum, rather than the plastic. Plastic do okay, but I remember growing up we always had metal bladed fans and they did really well. So, got instructions, who needs instructions, you know better than that. How many different ways can you put a fan together? All right, so I got all the parts out. Here's the motor, plastic housing. It's weird, everything's metal, but motor housing is plastic. You know, stuff hits that. On off switch, a little medium high off. Pretty standard, pretty simple. So, yeah. Extension pole. And that motor just mounts there, obviously. Like I said, who needs instructions to put together a fan? Hmm, wonder what those are for. All right, so if I were guessing, I would say this has to go on here. That would have to go there. But how do you get it down there? Doesn't fit over that. Take this off. I'm gonna take this off, put this on, put this back on. And I'm guessing that's how it goes. It'll mount on here like this and then that'll cover up everything. That's what I'm gonna say it does anyway. And I got the bolts here to prove it. So we're gonna go a bolt. I'm gonna take that off for now. Should have left it off. Pretty simple, four bolts and nuts. I don't remember the cost. I wanna say 80 bucks or something. I might, might be wrong though. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link to Amazon. Doesn't cost you any more, but if you decide to buy it, Helps me out just a few pennies. All right, so the bell goes over and covers up all those screws. Who wants to see all those screws? Nobody. Put this back in on. Leave it a little bit low. The uh, motor is gonna go on here. This has a thumb screw or turn, whatever you wanna call it. Tighten that up. Motor will tilt however you want it. Just lower that down. And I don't know if you can see it, but on the fan blade, there's a set screw there. And uh, there's a flat spot on this spindle. And I'm gonna put that set screw right on that flat spot. Except, I am going to assume that we will wanna put this on first. <laughs> no instructions. So it's got a handle on it. Obviously, you're gonna want that up at the top like that and now I'm gonna have to take some screws out 
put that on. Four screws here. Wait a minute, I get the right ones. I didn't, but I got them now. I need this done because it's getting hot in here. I don't know if you can see the sweat rolling off of me. All right, there's one. I think it would have been better if they'd have left these out too. Just put them in the package with the rest of the stuff. Two. All right, something's wrong with that one because it doesn't want to come out. See if I can coax it out. I think it was caught on the plastic. Okay, got that one. One more. Now, handle goes up. And screw goes in. Now this is just gonna be an initial review. It's not gonna be an overall review because I haven't used it yet. I might do a follow up down the road if I feel like it needs to be done. Especially if I have issues with it, I will let you know. But my initial thoughts are I like it. We'll just see how it runs. So if you haven't already and you feel so inclined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. If you're not a subscriber, and uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And you can actually cancel it anytime you want. But who knows? You might find something you like on here. I do a lot of different things. Mostly with my boat or my house or this kind of stuff. So, all right, now I'll put this on there. Tighten up that set screw. Make sure that doesn't come off. All right. Got a label. You got to have it right side up. You can't have it upside down. Hooks on there. Got to open up these little wings, clips, whatever you want to call them. Makes it pretty easy to get the thing apart when you want to clean it or something. And just snap them together. And there it is, put together. Well, it might be built hard, but it wasn't very hard to put it together. All right, we're going to plug it in, try it out, see how much air this thing puts out. No, I'm not going to get all scientific and do CFM and all that kind of stuff because I don't do that. If it puts out enough air that it feels good to me, that's what I'm going to do. If you want to know the tech specs on it, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Just, just go there and see what it says. All right, plugging it in. Well, it's oscillating and it's not even. What if I don't want it? Oh, where I thought was an on off switch is an oscillating switch. What's funny is you can turn the fan off and it will actually oscillate. Why would you want that? That's weird. I guess it's not any different than pulling a button up or something, which is what the old ones were. It's just a switch. It just looks like an on off switch. So we're going to low. <sighs> Feels good already. Uh, that's the good test right there. What does it sound like when you talk through the fan? And that one's, that one sounds pretty good with those aluminum fins. There's high. Might be too windy on the microphone. I don't know what that sounds like there. I hope, I hope I didn't run it, but that's putting out some air and you can hear it. Um, those metal fins really cut through the air. I have to put that in my bedroom. Might help me sleep. All right, so there you go. Pretty easy to put together. Uh, I think it's gonna do really well. And if I have any problems down the road, I will uh, put out another video and, and let you know what those are. But so far, so good. My initial thoughts, pretty well built. Built well is what it should be instead of built hard because uh, it's not all hard plastic. So anyway, hope this helped you out. If you're looking for a fan, maybe this is it. I don't know. Check it out below in the description. And uh, hey, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would. And give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that as well. Hey, I pray that God blesses you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Now go turn the fan on.